They're the glamorous, the perfect, the stars, which leaves the rest of us looking for that elusive fountain of youth, too. My skin is breaking open here. Daphne and Zane Carroll don't need to look at the pictures to be reminded of just how bad her cosmetic laser treatment went. They told me it would clean out your pores, it was good for collagen production, and overall good for your skin. But this was Carol after the laser procedure, swollen, in pain, having trouble breathing. This was her one week before. I've described it as if you hit your thumb with a hammer and you feel that throbbing like that through my cheeks. And that's the pain that still exists today. Here. The Laverne woman rarely drives anymore because no. nerve damage in her face also affects her eyesight. Miss Light, you know, she went and paid somebody to abuse her. It's a story that sadly doesn't surprise board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Amy Ortega. It's really difficult to kind of walk in with minimal training and be able to do these procedures the right way and get a nice result but also in a safe way for the patient. I think from the other stories that I've heard about I'm just lucky to that I made it through it. Most notably Kanye West's mom who died after a cosmetic surgery from a provider who was not qualified. In 2010 this Miami mother of six died after the procedure performed by a person who was not a doctor and there are others. Bagging us under the eyelids here. Ortega spent 15 years in school, at least three more than a regular surgeon, learning the very specialized techniques of cosmetic and reconstructive surgery. A lot of people don't realize that it is not illegal to call yourself a cosmetic surgeon whether you trained in cosmetic plastic surgery or whether you did no training in cosmetic plastic surgery. And so this can be very confusing. You hungry? This Eagleville woman wasn't asking for much, just a yeah. straight nose. After a horse riding accident left it broken when she was a kid. In this area here, the nose got crushed and it kind of crammed it up into the skull and cracked here. But Lisa Burns did not go to a board certified plastic surgeon. Since she was also having breathing trouble, she had the work done by an ear, nose, and throat doctor. I just thought, you know, a doctor's a doctor. He's trained in, you know, fixing the nose, so he said he could do it, so I just assumed he could do it. After her first Thank surgery, you. Byrne says her nose was still crooked and scarred. So she had to find a board-certified plastic surgeon to redo the job. It was another 20000 So I got 40000 in my nose. The problem has become so pervasive that legislators are working this session to regulate some portion of the industry, particularly laser surgery. In fact, this bill would follow 28 other states that have already put stiffer regulations on people working in the field. Here in Tennessee, we require uh, cosmetologists to endure 1,500 hours to learn to cut hair. This, someone can use a laser with zero hours. And the American Board of Plastic Surgery is doing its part to educate would-be patients with a full-on public service announcement. An incision be made along the hairline. Anyone can wear a white coat, but not everyone is board certified in plastic surgery. They're doing lasers in hair salons. They're doing Botox in hair salons. They, these need to be done by a physician. The problem is, is you don't know to ask, how certified are you? Are you trained in you know, plastic surgery being since my face.